It's actually an emerald cut diamond and set in 14 karat white gold. Wow. So is that the one that you saw her put on her on her finger in the video and you were like, hey, you guys got that wrong? I believe it was, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't wait to find out how much it's worth. It's Jeremy. And George. And you'll never guess what the Hales were up to today. We got a ton of what, George? Jewelry. Jewelry. Gold, silver, all kinds of bling. Pearls, gems, mm -hmm. you name it, we have it. And we're gonna get an official appraisal today. We're in Mount Vernon, Ohio. We're visiting one of our faithful subscribers who actually approached us, contacted us and said, hey, if you bring it in, I'll appraise it for you. Make sure that you know exactly what you got. So this score was from a $400 unit that George and I got in Norwalk, Ohio. George, bidding against each other. She was bidding on it. <laughs> I officially won it. And I think I won the competition too. But we're going to find you out did. today. I'm going to go ahead and admit it. You did. You won it. We're going to try and find out today just how much I won it by. But before we do, we want your guess. Where should they put it, George? Make sure you leave a comment below. Let us know how much you think the jewelry that we found so far will be appraised for. And at the very end, we'll give you the granddaddy total. I can't wait, can you? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be big money. Woo, 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 woo. She's ready. ready. Heading into the jewelry store. Gonna go see Fred. We're here at Honeycutt's Jewelry. They've been here since 2004. The gentleman that's looking at all of the jewelry right now is a GIA. What do you think GIA stands for? G has got to stand for George. George although I know it's Fred. Of America. <laughs> Fred's looking at the jewelry, but that's got to be, yeah, Georgia Institution of America right there. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Originally, I saw the uh, George put on an emerald, emerald cut diamond ring on her finger. Yeah. And you didn't really make much, men make much mention of it. And I thought, you know, maybe I could help them out and let them really know what they have because I think you we have you think we have a lot more than we I, I think you might yeah something some things yes some things no but for the most part I think that you know yeah, <laughs> yeah I think you overlooked a few expertise. things yeah. yeah this could be this could be awesome I can't wait to see you do your work all right This is the ring that I put on in the video. You're never going to believe how much the retail price was. I believe it because Fred <laughs> just told me. So this is a 14 karat white gold wedding band. Something like this, you're probably not going to get much out of retail on, and you'll get more money out of scrapping it out for its gold value. So just, just how, how would we go about, or how would our viewers even go about scrapping? Viewers, um, just find someone that you trust that's local, mm -hmm. that, that pays market price. Okay. Um, that's the way to go. Probably probably not a good, a good idea to go like these fly-by-night places that come in and buy gold and then they leave your town. They're there for two weeks and then they leave. Yeah. They won't pay you as much. They're just looking to make a profit. The piece on the left is a sterling silver and turquoise. The piece on the right is actually more of an antique piece of jewelry, um, which is ro uh, a rolled gold plating. Um, it's a nice little locket. Very cool. Ready to find out the retail value on the gold chain and reused pearl? Start adding it up because we want your total and you're going to find out the total at the very end. Here we go. Retail, $50. It's going to be near impossible to show everything from today, but we're going to show you some of the cool highlights. What's your guess on this one? Gold earrings, retail, another $50. We love gold and we're guessing you do too. Another $75. That's $175 for all of you who are keeping track so far. So this is where, where someone could mess up thinking this is 10 karat gold. It's stamped 10 karat gold, but underneath it's actually stamped a gold plate. Yeah, I think I actually saw that on the original video, and I said that it was, it was gold. So I did mess up. YouTubers are always helpful letting me know when I mess up. <laughs> Pretty watch. It's antique. How old do you think it is? This watch is probably... 75 years old. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a manual wind watch. These go to the watchmaker though. These gold earrings look incredible. Are you sure you don't want to keep these, George? No. All right. Well, then we're going to retail $75. So, so 30 years learning how to be a jeweler, this is exactly how I learned. People bring jewelry in and they ask me what it's appraised for, and it says right on the tag $10. <laughs> 
George, what are you doing? I'm looking at George. The, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm looking at rings. We're getting appraisals. We're not. We're not ring shopping. I know, but I wanna. You wanna what? I just wanna admire them. Oh, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. A gold star is born. Actually, two of them. These remind me of you, George. <laughs> $75. There were definitely a lot of gold earrings and we were thrilled to have all Fred's help and expertise. And another $75 in retail value. So costume jewelry you definitely don't want to see made in America, right? But this is made in Italy. Um, yeah, it's nicer quality costume jewelry, but it's not real, real high end. It's glass. Yep. Pretty. Yeah, but it's all cool. glass. Mm -hmm. But it's this is what I would consider a little higher end costume. Yeah. The blue topaz earring looks incredible, but we don't have the other one. We don't know if we're going to find it still. We hope we do, but. Without its match, we're only at $150. Now, Fred, I gotta tell you, once we showed this jewelry box on YouTube, all the comments were, there's a hidden compartment, there's more jewelry. Your professional opinion as a jeweler? My professional opinion is there's no hidden compartment. <laughs> Nothing. No, this is just glued down. Sorry, guys. No. Well, the value on this jewelry box then? Uh, if you want to buy it today, uh, you can buy it at uh, What the Hell's uh, for five dollars. <laughs> five dollars, it is. I don't know. <laughs> that's a that's a vintage uh, U.S. uniform piece. That is so cool. I didn't even I didn't see that when we were in there originally. Did you see it? I may have. Well, yeah, these aren't supposed to be bent over. There's actually a clutch that goes on those. Fred found it. Very cool. They may have had this on a hat or something and didn't want to be poked in the head, so they bent, uh, it, yeah. they bent it over. Yeah. That'd be my guess, like he probably wore a ball cap or something, because he was proud of his service. Sure. We have two oval cut amethyst earrings in gold, and survey says 175. They're, these are ruby and diamonds? Ruby and diamonds. Yeah, you can just slide them out, George. Mm -hmm. And what was the papers? Had them appraised at what? 225. 225. And that one you think is actually right. Pretty close. Yep. 225 right there. Those are pretty, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Retail value of 225. That price tag keeps going up, doesn't it? Looking at a, a pearl, what you want to look at is the finish on the pearl we call knacker. Um, if they're not real, it'll be a glass bead underneath and there'll be little chips like it was dipped. And when it's dipped, it's dipped in what we call essence de pearl, which is crushed shell. Um, real, real pearls will have a, a, a consistent finish with slight blemishes, and the pearls themselves won't be exactly round. They usually have kind of an off shape to them. And those are? These look real. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah, these have a, a slight uh, pink tone to them, but they're pretty. And, and 14 karat yellow gold. I like that word gold. You like that? <laughs> Drum roll, please. Brrr. Yep, 275. Oh, don't worry. We're nowhere near close to the item that's going to max it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a horse guy, but my guess is since they found this in the same unit, this is all sterling silver. And by the way, this is made on back. This is typically how tack is attached to um, horse bridles. So was there a lot of gold and silver in horse tack? There is. Wow. We're going to have to check everything even more yeah, carefully when you, now. When you, when you have, when you have uh, leather bridles with a bunch of um, embellishment, mm -hmm. like silver and gold embellishment, generally when it's metal like this, then it's yep. usually um, sterling silver or even um, even a more pure um, uh, silver content and gold. Wow. Mm -hmm. Appraisal on these diamond earrings here says 150 and they would retail for around 350 Wow. That's great. Yep. Star-shaped gold earrings with diamonds in the middle. Beautiful studded earrings. 
at least I think that's what you call it, studded earring, with a total of 350 retail value. Fred found another piece here from the military, probably Air Force. So the back there. Or, or Army Air Force. Oh yeah, either yeah. or. Yeah, actually this, uh, this symbol, yeah. That may be more indicative of Army Air Force, okay. which came about after World War II. Which her dad, we do know her dad served in the Air Force right after World War II. It was in peacetime. Mm -hmm. Imitation ruby, not a real ruby. Not a real ruby. Um, more than likely, it's a man-made ruby. It's probably, it's probably still corundum, which is what emerald and sapphire are made from. Huh. Know? This is a created ruby ring, um, so retail on this ring is, is around $350 to $400. Created ruby, which Fred gave us an education on, with the 10 carat setting, we got a retail value, $350. So this is actually sterling silver, and uh, this is uh, where he actually went to basic training or qualified. Um, for you know, They don't have the tabs hanging off, but um, this should be, if I remember correctly, if you're expert or... Or sharpshooter. Very cool. Yeah. We love the history behind it. So, so this uh, little little uh, pin here says American Watchmakers Institute. Um, the uh, after World War II, when soldiers were coming home, there were so many of them. The U.S. government um, uh, gave them opportunities for different jobs, and one of them was watchmaking or horology. Wow. Um, so it's a possibility that when he got out of the service, maybe he, he became a watchmaker. Wow. Yeah. Could be a possibility. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty cool. Somebody would probably want to buy that. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. We'll get a better closer look here. A lot of these spoons, too. This has got to be like. Is this fishing stuff, you think? Yeah, there's like six or seven of those. Eastern Star Ring. That's a cool ring. Mm -hmm. Somebody's definitely going to want that. Oh, and the pendant's even nicer. Yeah. So many viewers love this Eastern Star Black Onyx ring. It's in white gold, and the retail value, if you want it, just message George, what the hails at yahoo.com, and the retail value is $400. Being a jeweler, I don't really appraise boxes, but I'd say the retail on this is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Tea for trash. That goes into tea rash. <laughs> Okay, so this, this is an Eastern Star uh, ladies uh, pen, and uh, it's in perfect condition. And it's, uh, I believe, has a diamond in the center. The rest of the gemstones um, are semi-precious. Very cool. Because the, the sapphire and ruby um, most of the time aren't real on these pendants, so real, but the other semi-precious stones are. It's a diamond in the center, single-cut diamond. Mm-hmm. Eastern star pendant with a diamond, absolutely beautiful piece, and I'm sure lots of interest. Well, if you want it, it can be yours for 475 retail value. So unfortunately, the chain on this is gold filled, so it's not it's not solid gold. But the pendant is pretty. It it has a lot of greens and blues in the opal, if you can, I can see that. I really see the blues. The you greens I can't too much right mm -hmm. now, but the blues are really coming through. Maybe if I turn it. See, opals, if yeah. you turn them sideways, are oh, almost clear. But if you turn them, you can get the... Yeah, yeah there it is. There wow. It is. And it is stamped 585, which is 14 karat gold. Stamped 14 karat in a 585. Base. What do you? What's? Where's the jelly base? See where it says here. It says jelly base. Uh -huh. The opal. The, we don't have any technical terms like that. Huh. Jelly opals. They valued at two twenty five. You value it at four, around four seventy five. Four seventy five. There it is. Those are the opal earrings. Opal earrings. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can you see the the fire in them? Yeah, I can. Yeah, very pretty. Yeah. Those would, be, those, would be, those would be an awesome pair of earrings to buy. And then we have uh, the, there's an opal ring with five stones in it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The opal earrings, which are a better quality and grade than the pendant. Two oval cut, 14 karat gold. So, here you put those up there. So those opals on a paper are valued at $300. Yeah. Um, retail on those would be more like $750, $800. Wow. 
We'll go 750 on that. We'll keep we'll keep it low, even though it's going to be a huge tally total. Much much more than your 8,000 whatever it was, huh? 8485. It's going to be. I have a feeling it's going to be up there. Double that. There's some abrasions on this. Let's make sure. Let's do a heat index mm -hmm. test on it. It's a diamond. So it's definitely a diamond. That's definitely a diamond, and a 14 karat white gold mounting. Um, you're probably looking at a 20 point stone, one fifth of a carat. Here, I'll get you a price on that. The diamond is the value here. Here we have a 14 karat white gold European cut diamond ring. George is wearing it on her pinky. She tried to put it on her ring finger. I'm not sure why, but her her hands are swollen right now because of radiation treatment. Retail value, 750. That's the that's the five stone ring, right? Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of fire in these stones underneath the abrasion. A lot of greens. I'm getting some of the greens in the shot right are you, now. Are you getting some of them? Yeah. Yeah. I hope it. I hope it translates well on YouTube. Once it goes through the processing procedure on YouTube, a lot of times it doesn't. It doesn't show the same as when we take the video. But mm -hmm. let's hope the viewers can actually see this. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful ring. And it's an old ring too. Yeah, this is an old ring. Wow. This opal uh, ring has a lot, the opals are very pretty and very nice, but they have a lot of abrasion on top, so it's hiding a lot of the color in the fire. It's a price of $400 on the slip of paper, but in reality, it's, it should be a price more around eight dollars $850. So is there a way to actually get that abrasion off of there? Do you polish it? Do you? Uh... Yeah, there, there is. You can polish it. You can do some lapidary work on it and actually take that off. You'll, lo you'll lose a little bit in the weight of the stone, but it'll actually bring the color and fire back. It's a beautiful ring. George, this one had to be one of my favorite rings that we found in all of the jewelry. The five different opals was, what was your favorite? Was it this or the diamond ring? Oh, they're all my favorite. I love this one, just so cool. Look at the colors. I'm colorblind and I can see the colors burst out. Retail value, $800. Is that tool that you're using? This is called a leverage gauge. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that just gives you the size of the stone? Mm-hmm. What size is that stone? This one is a nine, nine by seven. This opal ring in a beautiful 14K gold setting, which Fred told us was old, very, very old, probably great grandmothers, maybe grandmothers. Retail value, 950. We've got a beautiful ruby pendant and matching earrings. They're in white gold, 14K. We're starting to get into some bigger money now, George. So the, these are natural rubies, and they're, they're pretty clean. Um, set in a, in a buttercup style mounting, 14K gold chain. And the two of these, the paper says they're worth three, 375. In reality, you're looking more for like probably 375 or 400 for the earrings. And the pendant, you're, it's a larger stone, so you're looking more like probably around 550 to 750 just for the pendant alone. Wow. So for the set together, we'd be at probably around a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars for the set. Yeah. The emerald earrings. Mm -hmm. So that appraisal value would be around around 12 to 1400 dollars. Wow, that's incredible. These emerald earrings, absolutely gorgeous, and. We've got some other emerald jewelry that, well, just as beautiful and expensive. $1,200 just for the earrings. This emerald pendant with a 18 inch gold Singapore chain matches the earrings and there's a ring that matches as well. You're around $1,800 on this 18 karat. That's emerald cut. Another 18. Emerald pendant, yep. $1,800 on the necklace. Yep, appraise, wow. appraise value. Wow. Seven and a half. The appraisal is correct. It's just um, extremely old. 
but this is, hold on. This is the case that was marked 4,000 for the emerald set. What Fred's told us so far is these appraisals are extremely old. Yeah, so these two are not for this ring. They're probably for these. Okay, pendant and earrings. Yeah, so you don't have the one for this. Okay. So I'll look this one up real quick. You said that's a one carat stone? Yeah. Emerald. Mm -hmm. There's the matching emerald ring on George's finger. I gave her a silver ring for, was it Sweetest Day? Mm -hmm. Or Valentine's? Valentine's Day. I gave you, a, she doesn't wear it. I guess she's looking for another kind of ring. Like this one for $1,800. has got to be a good sign. Microscope, bright lights. That's got to be. It's got to be some money right there. I'm hoping. So, so on this piece of paper it says this is a 14 karat white gold blue topaz ring, uh -huh. um, octagon cut topaz, um, but it's actually an emerald cut diamond and set in 14 karat white gold. Wow. So is that the one that you saw her put on her on her finger in the video and you were like, hey, you guys yeah. got that wrong? I believe it was, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't wait to find out how much it's worth. How about you? Let's see, mm -hmm. Let's see if it's more than $350. It, it will be. It, it, there you go. It's definitely more than $350. This is the ring that Fred saw in the video and then he reached out to us. He was like, hey, these guys really need some help, which... <laughs> No doubt we do. And he said, um, well, this is probably the biggest score in this group of jewelry. Does anybody want to pause the video and guess the amount? Because now would be a good time to do that. Yeah, look at that on your ring finger, George. Look at that diamond. Well, the official amount is 2700 so dollars. Awesome. Now, obviously, we couldn't show everything, and here's just a lot of silver and gold that we didn't even show values for. But with all the values we showed, if you were doing your math, $15,025 in retail value for gold and silver jewelry found in a $400 storage unit. That's the treasure hunting life.